Hi, and welcome to our Motorcycle Jacket and Pant Guide. In this section, we are looking at safety ratings. So in Canada, there are no standards for motorcycle protective equipment to be sold as such. So I could make you a motorcycle jacket, sell it to you as protective equipment. There's no standards that really govern that. In Europe, however, it's a different case. So in Europe, they have the European norm standards. So if I'm going to sell protective equipment, the padding in that jacket, the padding in that pant, or even the pant material itself has to meet certain standards for me to be able to do that. So we're going to run through them here because you're definitely going to see a few of these on our site, uh, especially if it's a European garment like Dainese or something like that. Right off the bat, we have the EN 1621-1. This is going to cover everything uh, but the back, the spine, the chest protectors. So these are going to be your elbow pads, your knee pads, all that stuff are going to be covered by this. Basically what they do is they drop a big heavy weight on it to make sure that no more than 35 kilonewtons was transmitted through that pad. After that we have the EN 1621-2. This is going to cover your back and spine protector. This is split into two subsets. So there's CE level 1 and CE level 2. CE level 1 is pretty good. It says that no more than 18 kilonewtons was transmitted through that pad. CE level 2 is going to be a little bit better yet. It says no more than 9 kilonewtons was transmitted through that pad. So oftentimes you're just going to see a pad that says CE rated and then a level 1 or level 2. That just infers that it's going to have that EN16, whatever it may be. So sometimes they just say that CE rating, which is the subset of this category. After that, we have the EN1621-3. This is going to cover your chest protector. Um, this is really the same as above. It's split into those two subsets. You have CE level 1, uh, which is pretty good. And you have CE level 2, which is a little bit better yet. After that, we have EN13595. This is going to cover uh, the jacket or the pant material itself. So the leather, the seams, uh, the textile uh, material, whatever that may be, the fabric. That's what this standard checks out. It makes sure it has good abrasion resistance, makes sure it has good cutting resistance, makes sure the seams too are really, really strong. They're not going to tear apart on you in a big long slide or something like that. So that's what this standard covers. It's really for professional motorcycle equipment. So if you're on that competitive level or you're buying a competitive level of a garment, you're going to look for that EN13595 standard on it. Please note, however, that there are a lot of companies out there that don't sell their stuff in Europe. You know, if they're selling to America, to Canada, some other countries uh, worldwide, uh, they may not have to meet those European norm standards at all, so they may not bother getting that certification. It doesn't necessarily mean that the garment's unsafe by any means. It could be as safe or safer than some of the ones that are CE rated, but they may not uh, bother getting that certification if they're not selling it there. So what we really recommend is check out the materials that are in that jacket, that pant, or those pads. We went through that in the last two sections. Um, so look at those materials, do a little bit of brain work. You'll be able to figure out how safe that garment's going to be. Of course, you can give customer service a call, and we're going to help you process through that stuff too if you're wondering just how safe a certain jacket or pant will be for you. That's it for this section. We have loads more coming up. But for this bit, thank you very much for watching.